It was a brisk fall day. The bright red and orange leaves on the trees of Oak Brook Preparatory School stood out against the constantly cloudy sky. The popular girls all giggled as they walked effortlessly down the hallway. Their plaid skirts were all perfectly pressed. Their hair was perfectly bouncy. Jessica looked at them longingly from her locker. She wanted to be friends with them, to stride confidently across the quad, to talk to boys, and most of all, to go to their famous popular girls' sleepovers. Jessica never seemed to be quite able to pull off being popular. She always wore not quite the right skirt and pinned her hair back not quite the right way. When Margaret, one of the bubbliest, most popular girls in school, sat next to Jessica in science class, Jessica was overjoyed. Then, when they were paired up for a project, Jessica was ecstatic. Jessica was shy at first, but after a while, she and Margaret actually hit it off. She got Margaret laughing, and Margaret regaled Jessica with tales from her life in the popular clique, like how they all carried an extra lip gloss just in case someone forgot theirs. When the class was over, Margaret asked Jessica if she wanted to sit with her group for lunch. It was finally happening. Jessica was finally going to sit with the popular girls. The girls made friendship bracelets and showed each other pictures of their horses. These girls had horses, but they barely even touched their lunches. Jessica thought that was weird, but she still had fun. For the next couple weeks, Jessica sat with them at lunch every day. On a rare sunny day, Jessica asked the girls if they wanted to eat outside. They gasped. The girls stammered and said it was bad for their skin. Jessica was sad to miss out on the sun, but she didn't want to be kicked out of the group, so she stayed with them in the cafeteria. No matter how strangely the popular girls acted, Jessica was so desperate to be liked by her new friends that she kept her comments to herself. And it worked. The popular girls really started to like her. Margaret invited Jessica to their big sleepover and said that they wanted to do a friendship ceremony to officially induct Jessica into their group. That Friday night, Jessica was ready for the best night of her life. But instead of playing games like Truth or Dare, the girls went outside to count how many bats they could find. And no matter how late it got, there was no sign of anyone going to sleep. How were they not exhausted? When was the friendship ceremony supposed to happen? Just when it was so late that Jessica could barely even keep her eyes open, Margaret announced that it was time for the main event of the night, the friendship ceremony. Margaret told Jessica that they wanted her to officially be part of their group for deathless eternity. It sounded like they were talking about something more than being BFFs. Margaret explained that the popular girls were all vampires and they wanted to make Jessica a vampire too. Jessica shuddered with fear. It all made sense now. They wouldn't go in the sun. They wouldn't eat regular food. They looked down on anyone who wasn't one of them. They stayed up all night. The girls were all staring at Jessica, waiting for her answer. Finally, Jessica whispered, no. Margaret asked again, I never want to be a vampire. The lights flicked on. All the girls laughed. Margaret said it was just a sleepover prank. Jessica pretended to laugh along with them, but after that, the popular girls never talked to Jessica again. Every time Jessica would see them, sitting in the cafeteria in their perfectly pressed plaid skirts, not eating lunch, Jessica would think back to that night in the basement. No matter how much time passed, Jessica couldn't shake the feeling that that night in the basement hadn't been a prank at all. 